For some, this is the sound of summer. Beer lovers have never been hard up for choice. Big beer companies like Labatt and Molson Coors have in recent years begun brewing beyond their classic brands, choosing to expand their lineups with new beers that are stronger, pack more of a punch. Beers that compete with the flavors of craft brewers. But as popular as the craft brewing market has become, the market for lighter fare is still going strong. Currently, less than 10% of the beers sold at the NSLC are, are craft beers. So uh, 90% of the beer uh, that's consumed is still the, the mass market. Um, you know, those uh, big brands that everyone's that's used to. So trying to reach more of the, uh, the local consumer that they can, uh, you know, consume a product and, and support a local brewery. Breton has released Island Time, a lighter beer. It's now their second biggest seller. Most of the customers are still coming in to enjoy the more flavorful beers. But brewers are working to create beer for the everyday beer drinker. You know, the way we look at it, 10% is great, but um, you know, what the heck are the other 90% drinking? Um, you know, when they could be drinking um, locally. Once there was a time where craft brewers would turn their nose up to such a beer. Light beers were considered taboo. However, local brewers in the past number of years realized the value in reaching the broader market. And that's what Brian Titus says fueled the plan to create a 12-pack light beer at Garrison. The goal is to attract people heading to the cottage for a long weekend with these crushable bevies. Uh, love to love to drink, uh, you know, your product, but, it, you know, too malty, too hoppy, too, too whatever, right? Too expensive, maybe even. But those days, honestly, are, are largely gone. Um, those kind of beers very much exist, and there's very much a demand for it. But increasingly, it's light beers, it's... Uh, you know, super refreshing, uh, whether they're blondes or wheat ales, uh, uh, but in particular, just light in alcohol and increasingly light in calorie and, uh, and, um, and uh, uh, you know, a, a, a beer that would rival very much what a, um, you know, what a large producer would make. Titus says this means people who don't like big, bold beers will still be able to support craft. Matthew Moore, CBC News, Sydney.